Dude, I'm like two seconds into this update and there's already a bug. Well, the bug aside, today- oh, it's back. <laughs> Alright, well, the bug aside, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the uh, iOS 26 Dev Beta 2, and I'm gonna be going over a few of the differences and if you should install this on your main device today. I mean, obviously, because it's a beta, you shouldn't, but because you're watching this channel, I assume you care about iOS more than the usual person. So, let's take a look. Alright, freshly installed the update, let's see if anything's new. Software update complete. Okay. Face. No, I'm good. You, you have to accept the terms and conditions again? That's odd. iPhone analytics. It, it just says continue. You have no choice. We will read your data. Alright, let's see. Did they de uglify it? Uh. Is, is anything different? Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I have to test one thing. They fixed it! Let's go! Well, <laughs> thanks to everyone bitchin', uh, they finally added Blur to the control center. Nice! I think it looks so much better now, and it actually still retains some of the liquid glass design. Perfect. Alright, we just gotta fix this ugly blue over here then. Alright, and there is a new ringtone. I mean, here's the default one. Alright, and here's the new alt one. I actually like it, it's a bit gentler than the uh, the default one we've had for a while. And another cool change is the default wallpaper actually has the parallax effect now. Awesome. The last time they've done something like this was iOS 7, and it got removed in iOS 16, so it's really nice to see them bring this kind of thing back. One odd thing I did notice about this beta though, is if you take an app out of the dock, uh, they all just stay aligned, they don't like center anymore. Pretty odd. One thing that still wasn't fixed, though, is third-party apps still use the iOS 18 keyboard. Oh well, maybe next time. One thing I think Apple should be very careful with when improving iOS 26 is the blur and the liquid glass, because some people like the blur, and some people prefer the transparency of the liquid glass. So I think under display settings, we should just have like a dedicated slider which lets us customize how much uh, transparency we want. But let's be realistic here, Apple isn't gonna give a f about that, they're just gonna do whatever they want. Now, on the stability side of things, I noticed Beta 2 has actually improved quite a bit from Beta 1. Things are a lot more responsive, there's a lot less stutter and lag throughout the operating system. Good change. Now, one of the things I criticized most in my last video on iOS 26 was the heating and the battery life, and, um... It's a bit better, not not by a lot, but it's a bit better. I mean, it's gone down from Google Pixel heat to, uh, you know, just a, a warm summer day, which, that's a definite improvement. So along with the performance and the heat getting a bit better, battery life, in my experience, has also gotten a tiny bit better as well. Um, nothing groundbreaking, like, it's not near iOS 18 levels yet, unfortunately, but it's actually getting way more usable than it used to be. So, along with Control Center being fixed up, Notification Center was also made way easier to read as well. I, I noticed it's a bit darker in this area, and uh, that's a huge improvement, because uh, on the first beta, this wallpaper and these notifications, it was pretty bad. But uh, I'm glad to see they're making some improvements. So, overall, my review of this beta? Uh, if you have a phone that supports it, and you're willing to take a bit of a risk, I'd say download it. It's gotten to the point where it's just enough to be usable. I'm gonna actually be installing this on my main phone, the iPhone 16 Pro. Uh, if you wanna do it yourself, uh, just make sure you sign up for the beta program, and uh, if you ever wanna revert to iOS 18, I've got instructions on how to put your phone into recovery mode and restore it in the description. Oh, and let me just ramble for a sec here. If you think iOS is ruined by this new update because it looks a little rough right now, really, look at what iOS 7 Beta 1 used to look like, okay? Time is gonna fix this, alright? Just, just cool your jets, calm down, it's gonna work out, alright? So yeah, that's about it for now. Uh, unfortunately, because this is a bit of a smaller update, there's not too much to cover here, but uh, from what I've seen, we're going in the right path. iOS 26 is shaping up to be one of the best iOS updates in a long time. I mean, I don't have to hold ice water on the back of this phone to cool it down anymore, so, so make of that what you will. Anyways, thanks for watching.